Welcome to DroneLink. Let's start by planning a waypoint mission, which we'll then take outside and fly. Start by clicking on the Create button, and then selecting Waypoints from the options available. I'm going to click the Location icon to place the map near me, and then reposition the map. Then click on the map to place the template path. We're going to give the plan a name. We'll leave the action as return to home and the speed at 10 mile per hour. Let's move the purple mission reference pin to where we will be taking off from. This will be used in some of the calculations of how long it will take to run. The template waypoint mission will go from point A to point B to point C with a path action to change the altitude. Path actions are things that you can place anywhere along the path to take action. You can also place actions directly onto waypoints by just clicking on the waypoint that you want to change. If you don't see the action that you want in the list, just click on Advanced and more actions will become available. One important feature to note is the automatic capture settings. By default, it's set to video, but if you change it to photo, it will take interval photos instead of video. In our case, we're going to want video, so we're going to switch it back. Now let's reposition the waypoints to where we want them to be. Let's start on one side of the church, and then we're going to create a curve around the church, ending on the other side. And we're going to change the position of the path action and move that closer to the end of the mission. You can see that Waypoint Alpha has a point of interest and we're going to move that point of interest over the church so that the church stays in focus throughout the entire flight. Now let's jump across to our mobile device and show that as long as you have an internet connection, everything is fully synchronized between the web and mobile. Once we switch to the mobile device, you can see that the plan that we created is already showing. And we can edit that plan by clicking on the three dots and selecting Edit Plan. Once the plan loads, it's initially locked and we can unlock it by clicking on the small padlock icon. We're going to correct the takeoff location since I put it in the wrong car park. And then we're going to add another waypoint by clicking on the plus and dragging over to the right. Once back in the web app, you can see that all of the changes that we made in the mobile device have been applied. We're going to want the mission to end quite high up, so I'm going to change the altitude of this path action to be 175 feet. You can right click anywhere on the map to add other path actions. So I'm going to add a path action to change the speed to 25 mile per hour. But since we don't actually need it to be that fast, I'm now just going to delete it by clicking on that item and hitting the little garbage can. Now let's use the 3D planner to get a visual indication of what the flight will look like. Click on the 3D planner icon and a visualization will appear in the top right with a line indicating the flight path. As you can see, our flight is going to start low and then climb and curve around the church. I'd like the initial altitude to be a little lower, so I'm going to cancel the 3D view, click on Waypoint Alpha, and then change the altitude from 100 feet to 80 feet. Now let's click on the Mission Estimate icon to get some information about the flight. This includes things like the total time, the distance, the number of photos expected, the speed, and so on. For a more accurate representation, run a mission preview. This now allows you to run the mission virtually, showing what's going to be happening in the top right hand corner. It also shows information down below, such as camera actions, how many batteries you're going to use, flight altitudes, and so on. Now that we've run a mission preview, we can be confident in our ability to fly this, so let's get out into the field and do just that. Once on site, connect your drone and start the DroneLink app. And then wait for the button in the top right hand corner to turn green. 
This is also a good time to remember to force close the DJI app if you haven't already done so. Now click on the mission name to load it. And once loaded, you can click the play button to begin the mission. Three, two, one, starting mission. The drone will then climb to the initial altitude and fly to the first waypoint. Note that you can pause the mission at any time by pressing the pause button. Mission stopped. And then resume from where you left off by just pressing the play button again. Three, two, one, starting mission. Now the drone will fly the mission and take the video that we set up for it to capture. You can swap between the camera view and the map view at any time by pushing the two arrows in the small window. Once the mission is complete, you'll get a message saying mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. And then the drone is going to take whatever action you selected when setting up the mission. In our case, that was return to home. So our drone is going to return to home. And now you're ready to download and view the footage that you've captured.